Vindaloo originated from Goa in India. Vindaloo should be the perfect balance of tanginess, spiciness, sweetness and the hint of bitterness. Hi, I'm Shermi and today I'm going to share my easy and authentic pork Vindaloo recipe. I have perfected this recipe over the years and I think this will be the best Vindaloo recipe you ever tried. Vindaloo is all about the spices so let's start with the marinade. There are two parts to the marinade. Let's start with the dry spices. I'm using coriander seeds, cinnamon, green cardamom, fenugreek seeds, cumin, mustard seeds and black pepper. These whole spices are very important to get the authentic Vindaloo flavor. Toast the spices till they are slightly brown and aroma is released. Let it cool down and then grind the spices. Dry spices are ready, let's talk about the aromatics. I'm using vinegar, garlic, ginger, turmeric, sugar, onion, salt and dried Kashmiri red chilies. If you don't have whole chilies, you can also use Kashmiri chili powder instead. Soak the chilies in vinegar for at least 30 minutes. Cut the onion into thin slices. Fry the onions till they are golden brown. Add a pinch of salt while frying. It will help take out the moisture. Onions are ready, let it cool down. Roughly chop the ginger and garlic. Add everything into the blender and puree. Add little bit of water to help with the puree. So my Vindaloo paste is ready. I wish you can smell it, it's so aromatic. This is the consistency and the color I'm looking for. You can also make this in bulk and store it. So my marinade is ready. This is a vinegar based marinade. You can keep it in the fridge for a long time and you can also freeze it. And you can use this marinade for any meat of your choice. But nothing can beat the flavor of pork vindaloo. Authentic Vindaloo has to be pork Vindaloo. The important thing is to take a good quality pork. I'm using a pork shoulder roast because they're good for curries and slow roast. Another important thing for pork Vindaloo, it should have good amount of fat, which will render down and give the curry a beautiful flavor. If there is no fat, your pork Vindaloo will not come out good. If you don't have a fatty piece, you can always add some belly pieces. Separate the bone out. I like to put the bone in the curry for added flavor. I like to cut the meat into steak so I get the right combination of fat and meat. Then I will cut them into bite-sized pieces. Add the marinade and mix well. Make sure that every piece gets nicely coated with the marinade. Because of the thick consistency, it's coating the meat properly. This is done. I will leave it in the fridge overnight. There is a thought that you should not marinate long with vinegar because the meat will lose moisture. But trust me, overnight works best for the pork vindaloo. I always marinate overnight, always comes out perfect. So I think the key is the spices and the fatty pieces of meat. Obviously, don't marinate more than overnight or for two days. If you don't have time, four to six hours is perfectly fine. It's very important to marinate at least for a few hours because that will help to infuse the flavor and this vinegar will tenderize the meat. This is how it has been done traditionally. This marinade is basically a tenderizer and a preservative. That is the reason pork bandalu will always taste better next day. This has been marinated overnight. Now come the easiest part. We will just dump it into a pan and we will cook it at low heat. So I'm using a Dutch oven so that it doesn't get stuck in the bottom. If you have, you can use a thick bottom pan and I'm going to cook in the stove top. But if you want to cook in the oven at low, you can do that too. Cover and let it simmer. Stir it occasionally. I have not added any water. This is all the juices from the meat and the marinade. I always check for the balance of flavor. Add just the salt, sugar and vinegar to your liking. Check the meat for tenderness. Vindaloo is done when the oil floats on the top. This will take 40 minutes to an hour. Look at that gravy. It has the perfect consistency and the beautiful color. Garnish with some fresh coriander. So guys, my pork vindaloo is ready. It's my favorite curry, so let's give it a try. It's looking perfect. Just look at the beautiful red color. 
I'm very sure that my pork will be very succulent and soft and melt in your mouth. Just look at that, it's breaking apart just with the fork. It's heavenly. Pork is so succulent, I can't tell you, it's melt in your mouth and the flavors as infused into the pork so nicely. The overnight marination done is magic. Perfect balance of sweet, sour, spiciness with the hint of the bitterness, amazing. Just look at the consistency of the gravy, it's so nice, perfect. It will go so well with the rice, naan or any bread, dip in and enjoy it. It's quite easy to make, you just need to get the spices right. And it's so easy to find the spices from any Indian store, but you get the whole spices. That make the difference. You can't do with the powdered spices. If you don't eat pork, you can use lamb, beef, or any type of meat. If you follow my recipe and the steps, it will come out amazing every time. Bindalu tastes better next day because of the vinegar and the spices. So if your guest is coming next day, it's a perfect dish to prepare one day in advance. I shared my secret recipe with you i hope you guys like this video please like share and subscribe and see you in the next video